Welcome to another video on adding great stuff to your Smoothie World websites. And in this video, we're going to look at integrating a YouTube video that, um, that you found that you want to include. So a really good place to put a video in is uh, when you're talking about the five a day information, uh, because actually there's quite a lot to say and it's difficult to read a lot online. You certainly would not want a web page that looks like a heavy word document. So uh, a really good way to get across a lot of information is a video. People love videos and they're really easy to add in Serif. So let's say you've got your page ready. So I've put in a five a day logo. I've got a bit of information about five a day and now I want to put in my video. So um, in Chrome, I found a video already on YouTube. So this one, I typed in five a day campaign and I found a video here. Uh, so I can copy its address by selecting the address, right clicking and going to copy. And then I can get rid of that. And I can now go to insert, interactive object, uh, nope, sorry, not interactive object, media. I'm inserting media and I go to YouTube video. And it asks me to uh, put in the ID of the video here. So actually, what I should have done is not select the whole URL, but just its ID, which is everything after the V equals, which is a bit odd, I know, but there we go. Everything after V equals. So copy and paste, and that should give me uh, my YouTube video but uh, I can just do a few little things. If I want to change the theme, how it, how it appears, uh, the color of my progress bar and so on, I can do that. I can set it to autoplay. Best leave that off. Most people don't like that. I can hide the YouTube logo if I want to, uh, but I don't see any need to. I can allow or not allow full screen mode. Um, I can show the, uh, the, the controls or not. Probably need those controls, so we'll keep those on. Uh, but you can choose certain other things. So I might want to switch annotations and other information off. So uh, once that's set, we can press OK and I can just drag where I want it to go. So that'll probably do. And uh, we can preview it and see how it works. So let's preview our site. Here we are on our page. It's loaded the YouTube uh, clip up and I can click play and it starts playing. Simple as that. Okay, so that's all you have to do. So if we close our preview down to add a YouTube video, the hardest thing I think is making sure that you've selected just the ID of the video. So remember it's everything after the V equals, even if that what follows is a funny symbol, like in this case it's an underscore, that's still part of the ID. So that's what you have to select and copy and then insert media YouTube video, paste that ID into there. Okay, if that's everything you need to do. Go find a great video. Choose your video carefully. Make it relevant. Don't put just any old rubbish in thinking that that's going to tick a box. We're looking for a sensibly chosen video that really adds value to your site.